this let's one. Lead let's lead with kill it. this bird. Let's kill the bird. All right. I hate him. Hate him. Hate them. This will be a this will be a rant. <laughs> yeah, this is a rant. Like, so we live in squatted truck country. Yeah, we we live thirty minutes away from where Squat Life started, and we do not like to announce that publicly. But here it is. It's on YouTube. We live near people that started the SE Squat Life. Don't appreciate it. We don't accept it. We don't like it. I love to make fun of it. I love, oh, I love to make fun of I it. I love it to make fun of it. Just like Quentin's truck. I love it to make fun of it. Um, I, I want Quentin to do something nice, but he's not gonna. So he's I'm not gonna going make to make fun of him until he does. We're, we will push him. He'll say a wrong idea, where he what he shouldn't do, like cutting the exhaust off. He said, We're, I'm going to cut the exhaust off. And we said, do it. It'll sound great. Completely lying. Knowing it'll sound like shit, and we were sounded right. better. It, it sounded, sounded it better. It sounded better, but he goes, "It is way too loud in the cabin." And like, he took, he took, he went up to O'Reilly's and bought clamps and put it and back on. Clamps and like, he stretched out one side and then like clamped it back on. <clears throat> but I love the kid, but at the same time, like, I want to choke him. I just want to choke him out. But yeah, squat squatted trucks is the dumbest thing ever. Either level it or don't touch it. Don't squat it. If you're going to buy the you're, lift kit. You're going to love filming when, uh, whenever I end up lifting my truck again to go to a 6-inch when I decide that Minnow Fork. Like, I'm going to run street tires on it just just to do it. So you can hook. Yeah, so I can hook with 600 foot-pounds and a 1,500. But, um, no, like... I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do it as like a joke thing for Instagram, cause like I've got all these guys telling me to squat my truck, and I won't ever do that like intentionally. But like I'm gonna do a six inch lift, do the front first, film a few rollers, <laughs> film a few rollers, and then do the rest of the lift. I mean, I and be like, no I was just this. kidding. Hate it. J I think Jason hates it more than we do. Jason hates. Jason's a hater. Dude, Jason's a heavy hater. Uh, like he just he doesn't like Tacomas. No, does he not? It's always specifically Tacomas he calls out. I don't know if it's just Tacomas or that. We're we're sitting and we closed up shop. We're about to leave. We're clocking out. And Jason's <laughs> kid that we work with, he's in high school. He's standing there. He's sweeping up the showroom, and they're squatted. Old Chevy rolls by with the with the wheel lights and the underglow. Like it's funny. Like the truck scene made like made fun of Honda. Who's for, the risers now? Yeah, made fun of people for buying like underglow, big underglow, wheels. big wheels, cheap suspension parts to like lower it, get it as low as possible. And now they're over here. Buying half a lift kit as cheap as possible, lifting it on 22s and underglow. It's come full circle at this point. But we're sitting there, white Chevy rolls by the shop, slam. It's just like the the rear is the rear tires are like rubbing. It had a three. It had a two three inch drop in the back and like a six inch lift in the front. Yeah, and rolls by the shop, and we go, Jason. Look at that. And he just shakes his head and goes, that is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. And then goes back to sweeping. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing ever. But yeah, we, um, we don't like squat. And I hope that law passes where they, yeah. have, where they have. For people that don't live in South Carolina, they're actually passing. They're trying to pass a law. Like they are trying. They put a bill into motion that when it passes it'll be a law that squatted trucks is unsafe for the roads and you'll get ticketed and fined because you're squatted and it is the smartest thing i've ever heard of yeah, I, it was like the only good government decision going on <laughs> at the moment it's it is just ridiculous and it's true though because like i passed one coming here i passed a tahoe and i was scared my car's not small like it's lowered but it's not small. It's oh, a big, bigger bitch. car. It's a big bitch. And I was scared to pull over. I had to turn. Like, I had to get over. I was right I was right there um, before the... How do you think I feel? 
Oh, in the mini? They can't see me. <laughs> you would fit right like, underneath them. There's a there's two feet behind me and three feet in front of me. Like, I was right there on Greenville Street. Like, I just passed Vapor Mill. And I had to get over to make the turn at the light. And I was scared to get over because I was scared if I was going to hit my brakes to make the turn in time. He was just going to run right over me. Because he was just like this. Like, he's staring up at the sky. There's no way he sees anything. I want to ride in one. Like, I've been in squatted trucks, but it's just like, I want to ride in one. Because it's like, I've had my truck, which is, you know, my baby. And, like, out of all my cars, I love the truck the most. Yeah. You know, the Civic I have the most fun with, but my truck, that's just my, that's my baby. And then it's like, you know, it's simple. It's just a three-inch lift at 35s, and, you know, it's simple. But... You know, and then I have the new the, setup though. The new setup's gonna be fuego. <laughs> fuego. And um the then I had a for I had it for like a week. It was a Tahoe, like earlier two thousands yeah. Tahoe, twelve inch lift on forties. <laughs> Two wheel drive. <laughs> 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 that was impossible. I got rid of it because I couldn't lock the doors. <laughs> I just I was like, nah, this isn't me. I mean it is me. I want I want a suburban with a twelve inch lift and forties. Oh my gosh. The land yacht. The land yacht. But you know, it's just like I do miss that Tahoe. I only had it for like a week or so, but I loved it. Yeah. It was fun. It was it was fun. And then you park in the scene one of the senior spot in high school and they put your truck in neutral and roll it back. Because they can get under there. Oh. <laughs> and, and that happened. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... Uh, no, it's just like... I like trucks. I prefer a lower truck. You know, I always wish my truck was a two-wheel drive. But, you know, you're 16. You live in the south. You're given a 4x4 four four diesel truck. Yep. What do you do? You lift, you lift it, it straight pipe it. Mm -hmm. To roll coal. Yeah. So it's like, I always wish that truck was a two-wheel drive, you know, so I could have it sitting on the ground. And that's what I think looks the best. But, you know, I'm working with what I, what I got, and I'm not going to do it yeah. wrong. I, I I used to strongly admit to hate trucks, which was never true. I always very, very, like, low-key loved trucks. Oh, yeah. When done right, like, lift it or slam. Like, if you have a yeah. two-wheel drive truck, don't lift it. Slam it. If you have a four-wheel drive diesel... Lift it, tune it, and straight pipe, and just roll coal everywhere you go. <laughs> Make power up that boost. Blow that Cummins up, because I'm... <laughs> well, that's another video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... in the rod knocking Chevys. <laughs> I don't know if that was a Duramax comment, or just like a LS comment. Both. Duramaxes aren't... Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. We're going there. We're going there. I love the Duramax engine, but I specifically love the new Duramax engine. Yeah. Because that's actually, you know, they backed out of their deal with uh, Zuzu. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's a Chevy designed engine, the new L5Ps. And I mean, they're making, you throw a, a completely stock truck, you throw a tuner on it. It is capable of 1,400 foot pounds, but that breaks the transmission. <laughs> almost immediately yeah and uh because with the variable turbos they have the torque hits right at like yeah you let your practice you let your foot off the brake and it's just like it's ready to full go. power but a um, house down you know so they dial them back and it's like a completely start truck with a tune you have like 1200 foot pounds yeah which is ridiculous insane because that, that's race truck that's, that's race, race truck, truck territory status. On a completely stock off the lot truck, with a tune, with a tune, it's beautiful. But no, I just, I understand like, it goes back to like the car scene where I like I'm an advocate for like sharing your passion and like putting your passion into a build. But if you're gonna drop like what, there, I don't think there's passion involved with the squatted truck scene. It's all about clout. Yeah, that's what it that's is. That's what I was. That's the way that's, I view it. That's what I was gonna say. Like with the car scene, like a lot of most cars and most car enthusiasts that start out that start young, it's about the passion. It's not about 
And there's an issue where there's a lot of people that are coming from the truck scene and flowing over into the car scene where it is all about clout. It's how much I spent on the wheels. Yeah, that's how much I spent the on the truck air ride. scene is now just a pissing contest on who can spend the most money on what. Yeah. 26 by 16s. What are you doing with that? It, it looks amazing. But what are we doing with yeah. that? With, like you're saying, like there's no, there's no passion in The way I do it, because I've been in that scene, you know, I've been part of those groups. You know, I did that throughout high school. Um, I just feel like um, a lot of the guys I talked with and would, you know, go mm -hmm. around, they didn't know shit about the trucks. They didn't know anything about it. And there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with, you know, like when you get into cars not knowing anything. You know, it's just how we all start. When you first start, you don't really know yeah. exactly what you're doing. But these guys know nothing to the point where it's just like, Exhausting. do you know how to drive? You know, it's like, mm -hmm. can you operate this machine? Uh, it's just like, and that's what I have an issue with. It's just the completely ignorant guys that do it just for the looks. And yeah. they do it for the Instagram followers or yeah. the likes. They're doing it for attention. And a lot of the squatted truck scene, I feel like is what's ruining a lot of the car community. All of them just hate on each other. You know? And it's just like, every, like truck rice. It's fucking hilarious to follow and stuff. But they hate on each other so much. It is so bad. Like, you can't go through the comments without, of, a, of a, any of the truck pages without seeing some kind of hate in some way like there's always one little thing that someone's gonna ring your ass about it's like i've seen guys i've seen two squatted trucks like two like two of them roll into work at the exact same time they hop out and they they like they shake each other's hands like they're best buds and then we pull their trucks in and we're working on them and like me and my friends joke like we all joke and like yeah, pick fun because we have fun while we're because we work. have and it's not a it's not a it's not like a we hate your truck we hate you stuff we're not it's, even we're not we're even, just playing around yeah we're not even that but like they're sitting there watching us work on their trucks and they're talking mad shit about each other's builds yeah like oh I spent more money on these wheels than you did oh your wheels are just reps mine are real and you have slip you have slip ons I don't need slip ons. And like mad shit. Like me and my friends. It's pick, like you're switching. Yeah, you're, you're switching. switching. You know exactly which day I'm talking about. Um, yes, I'm the one that found the slip-ons. Oh, you? They they stay there. Well, that's no. That's not how this that's works. That's not how this works, Chief. But like me and my friends, like me and you, like we pick fun about like our fitment and all that stuff. And but like this was like they were hateful. They it was there was hatred behind the voice of like. My wheels are, but it's just, it's just crazy, like the amount of hate that is in it, and like don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but like a lot of a lot of the hate in the car scene is directed towards either Honda owners, Mustang owners, or Mustang owners hating on everybody else. Yeah, and it's uh like we'll get into the Hondas, but the Mustang, it's like. A lot of these kids that have Mustangs haven't ever really driven faster cars before, mm -hmm. you know? And there's like, there's accidents, you know? You accidentally, you do something wrong, you mm -hmm. over-calculate, you under-calculate. Yeah. I've drifted Mustangs, okay? They have no self-steer whatsoever. So the Mustang means is just like, or at least in the older ones, so it doesn't feel like any self-steer. Well, it's, it's also a solid axle, so they're yeah. not... You've got a lot of forces working against each other. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I've almost died in that Mustang, and I wasn't the one driving. He, uh, it, it was a V6 five-speed Mustang that he had. And he's like, we're going to drift it because he bought it for a 1000 bucks. Yeah. And uh, so before we even welded the diff in this car, he tried to drift it down this one turn. And, I mean, we're doing 4550, which is too fast for guys like us that are like him that had never drifted before. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to force it out. That's a no-no. Yeah. The car, if it wants to, it, like, if you flick it to unsettle it and it wants to go, it'll go. If it doesn't want to go, I mean, it's just not going to work. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, he's trying to get it to kick out and stuff, and he's clutch kicking it and stuff. And it's like, it's his first week with this car, so he's not familiar with it. And um, we get towards the end of the curve, and it finally popped, like, kicked out. 
and he kicked out an immediate over like he it like went straight towards the ditch. There's drop offs on both sides of the road and there's woods on both sides of the mm-hmm. road. And um we uh so it hook, it kicks out, starts to go towards one side, so he tries to pull it back the other way and uh snap steers it they basically snap steered back over to the other side of the road and then he kicks it back again and we're still doing like 45 mm-hmm. something like that we go into this ditch facing this way come out of the ditch facing that way <laughs> and like i've been in these situations before so all i can do is accept it and i'm sitting there like shit he's screaming <laughs> he's screaming walking off the brakes and stuff and i'm like shit and um i'm like this is it I'm not going to make any jokes about that because I don't want the internet to be mad at me. <laughs> not this early. Not this early, no. They'll meet Kyle eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> They'll figure out what went wrong there. <laughs> um, last name, Ing. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> He's fine with the jokes. It's cool. <laughs> I don't mean anything by it. I'm just uh... kidding. But uh, no, uh, we can't. We flew into that ditch doing like forty five. We come out backwards, still doing that. <laughs> He's just on the brakes. <laughs> he doesn't stall the engine. <laughs> We're just we sat in the car facing the wrong way in the middle of the road for like four minutes, four or five minutes, just sitting there. We just trying to collect things. ourselves, make sure every, everything's still there. Yeah, but it's like I've drifted that car. It doesn't. And it's like a later 90s, early 2000s Mustang. It has no self-steer to it. And a lot of these Mustang videos you see are that body style Mustang. So it's like, I can understand what went wrong there. I've driven my friend's 400 wheel horsepower. Um, I don't remember. I think it's a 98, something like that Mustang. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like it, it made me nervous. Cause it's like, I'm not really comfortable with this car. I'm not going to get into it too much. That's like, I still, he's like, get on it, get on it. He'd tell me what to do because he's comfortable with the car. I've seen him drift that car, you know, on things that I would never try it with something that big. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just like, those cars are a handful and you throw an inexperienced driver into it Oh yeah, and you get the results you do. It's not that the Mustangs are bad. It's just a mixture of, you know, there's a lot of forces of the car working against each other and inexperience. Mm-hmm. And it's just, that's how the Mustang meets happen. Yeah. The thing is, is like the Mustang is, it's great for going fast in a straight line. <coughs> so you try, you try to flick it out of a parking lot to be cool and you get super sideways and then with no self steer, no experience, because they've probably never done it. They're at a Mustang meet yeah, for their first time cool. and they want to look cool and get on Facebook and then they're upside down with their front end in a, in a <laughs> pole. On, and they're on Facebook. Yeah, and they're on Facebook. But no, I just, going from that and then, like, you have, like, you have, like, every every car scene, like, every, like, make of car has the inexperience, has their own jokes. They have their own un- inexperience. And then their you own have problems. The, you have the forum know-it-alls and... Uh, the the people that are like the older guys that just they're retired they have stupid amounts of money and they just dump it into it and there's just like and then they're there yeah but when it comes to like for me like like I said in the first video I hated Hondas I used to talk so much shit about Hondas while I was driving a four cylinder but that's a different story. <laughs> It was just like... At least when I hated on Hondas, I had a V8. (laughs) (laughs) But it was just like... Because there weren't... There were clean builds, but at the same time, like, I just saw the... I was just following what the internet memes were saying. I didn't do a lot of my own research into them because I didn't want to. Because I was like, oh, it's easy to read a meme All you had to do is come across Busy Moto once and you know Hondas can make good power yeah and just be completely just a dream a dream to have one that makes good power but it was 
more recent it was more recently like starting to w- like watching Hoonigan and stuff and like hearing Naz like talk about Hondas oh, and, and like working with you and where you just talk about Hondas and Ky- you and Kyle talking about Hondas I was like well I'm gonna start researching Hondas and then it's just like B18 B20 Frankenstein 450 horse wheel horsepower yeah. build I'm like where has this been my whole life <laughs> I was like why am I just now realizing all of this K24 with a K20 head, high compression NA makes good power. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And they weigh nothing. And you're just, it's just crazy what a little four cylinder can do when you weigh 2,000 pounds. Um, but like with Honda, like with Mustangs, they're like, you go over to the Honda scene and not even like, I don't, I don't know. I don't own a Honda. I own an Acura. So like it's a little different. But like, other civic owners do they talk shit about other civic owners we will throw jokes at each other but it's not like hateful it's not hateful the only times you run across hateful things with like a lot of the civic guys is like when you got a bunch of fairly nice cars Mm -hmm. all gathered around and then you hear <laughs> like you hear a shit cannon fly by, and you look up, and it's a rusted EG coupe <laughs> with a fart can on it. And then it's like you get mad because it's like that guy's the reason I get made fun of. Yeah, you know that's the only time you run across that uh, that I've experienced. That's the only time you run across hate in the, within the Honda community. Because <laughs> it's like. All these guys hate that guy because they get made fun of because of him and people like him. But I, I used to, well, like, the thing was, is, like, the only, like, I hated on everything Honda except for, let me rephrase, let me clarify beside, before someone says, oh, the NSX and S2K. I love the NSX and I love the S2K. But everything else I did not like. I didn't like the Accords. I didn't like the Civics because I didn't know... I didn't know about, or I didn't really truly understand how amazing the J series was and how refound, like refined it is and all around an amazing It's pretty well power sorted plan. out engine. Yeah. It's got a good power van. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, and you know, it's I, a small package. And I never understood the V, like I laughed at the VTEC memes because like people would send them to me and it seemed like it was something funny. Never it really, still is funny. It still is funny. I never understood it until I owned the Acura and got a tune. And I'm like, 60, 60 mile an hour pull in third gear. It's like, okay, okay, I'm even. I'm even. I hit 80 and it's just like, VTEC. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, the memes and are, the and memes are pulley, real. You got the lighter. Yeah, pulleys. I have a lightweight pulley. So it and then your lightweight uh, flywheel. Yeah, right. the lightweight flywheel. It like it revs it really faster, helped. but like, like my lightweight pulleys on my mini helped it rev up quicker. Mm-hmm. Like I can't wait to do a clutch in the car because I'm gonna go to a lightweight yeah. clutch and it's just gonna help rev it up faster. Yeah, everything everything that I have done to the car to the Acura has been around performance based because for the longest time I fought Stance yeah. Life. I fought it so hard and it has just finally like like. It has finally just bit me the one last time, and I can't fight it anymore. I have to go Stance Life. Smaller I can tires. Your name in my phone. Stress to to Stancely Stancely confused grippy boy. Yeah. I wanted to be because my buddy the the car that like I fit like like I I love sedans, but the car that made me fall in love with Hondas and sedans and want a a sedan made like a, a Honda or Acura sedan with the J35 in it um, was, oh, my, yeah, was my buddy's, yeah, my buddy's, um, my buddy's 04 V6 Accord with the 3.0 in it. And the start of my love for Hondas and the reason I got a sedan was because of my friend's 04 Accord with the V6 in it, with the 3.0, three stages of VTEC. I'll throw up a picture of the car. It's a gorgeous car. Um, and just like, so I messed up in getting the heaviest of the TLs, but it's fine. I love my car. Um, 
and because but because of my friend's car and his previous two cars which was a fourth gen and a sixth gen maxima he would do mountain runs all the time and i would go with in my because i had a kia forte coupe like the first gen and we would go to the mountains like he would like he would obviously like lead me in the straights because he had a v6 out of four cylinder but like it was still like a lot of fun and I, I fell in love with mountain runs so and then riding in his accord through the mountains i was like this is incredible so that's that's why my car has been been like grip focused for so long yeah because i wanted because I, I love well, going you to the can mountains. you can you can accept sacrificing that with this car because you can always do that to with, a better level yeah, than another car. That's that's another reason why I eventually want to get a EK hatch because I can run those wheels we changed yesterday. Yes. Lightest the, the 14s, lightest some grippy ass tires, and then just all the suspension components. Yes. And I can still have a shit ton of fun on stock engine. Yeah. I mean, really, like, you got it. I mean, it's not going to be fast, like, stupid fast or anything. But, but it'll it, be a really fun it car. Would, it would handle like it was on rails. Yes. Like, and then slap my, a cam and ITBs on it. My Civic, with some coilovers that I bought from a friend that used them on their car, like, when I first did it. Coilovers, some sentries. Centuries on Centuries. that car. I trust that car more in turns than I do the Mini right now. Like with its jank setup. But it, like it handled really well. Even with sketchy tires and yeah, used suspension that I bought from a friend for super cheap. Yeah. And it's like the Mini. It's like I preferred stock suspension and my pilots over what is going on with that car well, right It's because the, yeah. is the issue is, is like you got... Like you got coilovers, you didn't have to pay full price. So that's fine. That was nice, but because yeah. of the coilovers, it then led to having to run smaller wheels with a certain offset, and then that led it's to it's just not where I wanted to. Be. Yeah, it just it just it just fell backwards. So you having to run a really fat sidewall, so you get a lot of you get a lot of you don't get a lot of bite. Yeah, I don't. Um, I get a lot of roll. Yeah, you get a lot of roll. You you can't, in order for you, because you are through and through stance boy, you want to be as low to the ground as possible, and it's fine. But because of that, you don't want to make the sacrifice of giving your coilovers preload and strong dampening to where they will handle. So it's just like, it's just like water in a in a Ziploc bag when you go through a turn. <laughs> it's like, it's it's still fun to drive It's like around. rolling dice. Yeah. Am I gonna slide, understeer? What's gonna happen here? But I, yeah, I've never driven a tail happy front wheel drive car, but now I have. <laughs> but with those pilots, like, with those pilots, cause I, I know how to drive. I grew up, you know, doing this stuff, mm -hmm. go-karts, dirt bikes, things of that sort. I have driving skill. We went from squatted trucks to I whatever we're we talking are. about now. We're have, just, we're I rolling have, with it. I have no idea where we're at right now. We're rolling with it. But no, yeah, so to wrap up this super long video, um, we will be posting, every Friday will be these, this style video again. So like, subscribe, uh, comment what you want us to talk about. Yes. Comment about what you want to hear and um, other video ideas that you want to see from us. But anyways, yeah, so like, subscribe, comment, turn on the post notifications so you know when we post. And yeah, see you next video. Quick before it dies. Yeah. I'm pickle